yes hi guys welcome back again remember it's always makes giving you this all updates and definitely in today's video we want to see someone asked a question and was asking how do i get qatari citizenship or how do i become a qatari citizen yes really that is a very hard question for me to ask and most of the times I've, i thought about that myself like if maybe one day i'll get me to be one of the citizens or be a citizen of qatari it will be something very bit about it but remember there are a lot of requirements that for you to follow if it's your first time to come across this channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember, it's always, I'll always be giving you, put a notification, I'll always be giving you this updates and give you everything that definitely you need to share and definitely that you need to know in any way or the other. Yes, how do I get a Qatari citizenship? Yes, for sure, there's something that I need to let you know. It's not that very easy like anyone would think that if I go to Europe, I stay in Europe for five years, then I'll get a citizenship. All I need is I need to complete this one. Yes, for these Arab countries, when you look at what you call citizenship, it's a little bit very tricky and very, very different in a way people may perceive and how people may look. Yes, partially, something that I need to let you know, we are going to look at three situations of which you can definitely if you happen to meet up the criteria, then you probably, you can get what you call the citizenship. And those three ways now, we shall look at what you call uh, nationalization, then we shall look at uh, by marriage, then we shall also look at by descent. Or well, most of the time we look at by descent, that is uh, one of the requirements that can be, especially if you are good to marry, get to marry to what we call a Qatari citizens. Yes, there may be a waiver, there may be a requirement for you, and you may be given what you call citizenship, but it will depend on it will depend on niche nationality and it will depend also the other procedures and also the other requirements that definitely you will have to meet as a person for you to be made sure that you can be accepted by decision of the committee that has to be the emily section that definitely will agree either to make you a citizen or to make you and remember for that case you must have lived in Qatar for more for definitely five years consistently you have a very good behavior background records uh, no criminal records a checkup background checkup are normally very important when it comes to this country especially when they're trying to keep their culture in any way or the other then you look at another formalities or something else that people will agree with me. Most of you will agree with me is what we call the nationalization, whereby you stayed in this country for like 25 years. Imagine can you stay in this country for 25 years. It's not a requirement for everyone that you, everyone who stays in the country for 25 years can be given a citizen. Yeah, no, no, no. Yes. The other requirements for you, if you stayed in the country for 25 years, then definitely you must have what you call a good criminal record, a good, very good criminal record. You must not be having convicted of any fraud, not even any any dubious or any insecurities activities that may be um, compiled with you. Then also, we look at the language, Arabic, it also be, be tested. You can definitely put in your application for that case. You never know. You may get approved and definitely you can be able to stay into what you call in the country or be in the country in any way or the other. Then we look at what you call, I talked about what you call a marriage. Now marriage, that is where definitely you get married to what you call a Qatari citizen and that decision has to be called uh, made by what you call the Emily, the, the committee that will this definitely decide either you can become a citizen in the country or never. So probably those are some of the things that uh, I'll definitely have to share with you for someone who asked me a question regarding what you call uh, uh, staying in Qatar with what you call the nationalization or definitely you want to stay in Qatar and get a citizenship. It's quite not very easy. There are a lot of procedures, but they're definitely we need to go through. And some of those procedures, I'll just give you only, I gave you a hint of definitely what you need to understand and what you need to know. Hope I've tried to share something for you. And definitely that is definitely what you need to understand. Thank you so much for always coming back to this channel by the video of our time. Don't forget to hesitate and share. Remember, it's always makes giving you all these updates and giving you all the very important information 